I first started using Te Reo in my in my artworks when back in the early 2000s it was pre-social media pre-text but we were using emailing to communicate um, and I noticed the ways we were using email was was quite interesting so we were using it to announce births, deaths um, and that's where Te Reo was coming in. I was part of Kaitau Fano, and so we were our community was CCing each other in, in messages and we were trying to use as much Reo as we could which most of us weren't fluent so it tended to be phrases and words that were dropped into English sentences or paragraphs. In the work Rerehiko uh, I was working with Kaitau Fano, and so all the emails that are in that, which has all the text, all the all the soundtrack language comes from the email texts, and they were all emails that were shared amongst the Kaitau Fano community. So that group actually performed in the work and swam in amongst the the email texts that they had sent themselves. Those early works I did where te reo was used in phrases and words dropped into English, what we were aspiring to was more use of te reo Māori. And as that was 15 years ago, now some of those people that were in, in that community are speaking te reo in their homes. Um, it's not something I'm completely managing, I'm trying. But that would be, to me, Getting our whole country speaking te reo fluently would be the best thing. Um, bringing it into our homes one by one would be ideal.